Hi guys and dolls, how are you? I hope you're doing well. I am hanging in there. I think there's a silkworm hanging from the tree. So if he visits me, you're probably going to hear me scream like I'm being cut up with a chainsaw. So I just thought I'd warn you in advance. Um, he needs to just keep his butt right over there where he's at and just leave me the heck alone. Um, somebody had mentioned this in um, a video that I was looking at the other day. The lighting is going to be a little odd, but I was just hoping to get the a little bit of the lake in the background so is that cool I'm hoping uh, a lot of lily pads this is a lake that's fed by springs which is kind of cool um, anyway somebody mentioned about doing a video talking about narcissistic fathers um, I don't think this is going to be a really long video it's going to kind of be a summation of um, my childhood dealing with a narcissistic so-called father he was a verbally and physically abusive drill sergeant. Um, he was constantly running around with other women. Narcissists will do that. They feel entitled. I don't care if I'm married to you. What does that have to do with how cute she is? You know what I'm saying? That's their mentality. Um, if she's fine, I'm going to get a piece of that. Or if he's fine, I'm going to get a piece of that. That's just the way it rolls. They're not going to feel bad about it. Why should they? Uh, they're feeding their ego. And in their mind, there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. Um, marriage is a commitment for one day. So, so that's their mentality. Um, he wasn't hardly ever around because he was playing around with other women. So that takes up a lot of your time and money. Um, when there was a perceived infraction on her part, meaning the so-called mother, uh, sorry, I feel itchy, um, a perceived infraction, then she would beat me and wait until he came home from his partying and playing around and then turn around and beat the holy crap out of me when he came home at whatever hour it was. And I had to get up to go to school in the morning. So I want you to imagine laying there with my summer nightgown on, which is kind of thin, right? Because it's hot. And uh, getting, getting beat with a grown man's strength with a belt that's probably about this wide and solid leather. So you can only imagine what that felt like. Um... And if there was one dirty dish, because, I mean, like, sue me, I am a kid, and so the dishes weren't always perfect. There might be a spot on something. He would yank me out of bed and take all the dishes and throw them in the sink so that I'd have to wash them all over again. One of the worst things, and the lighting is going to be weird, guys. I'm sorry, I was trying to give you guys a decent background, so if the lighting's weird, I apologize. I was trying to give you some scenery. Anyway, um, cars are going to be passing by too, so that's going to be weird, like it was last time. Um, so, he would throw all the dishes in the sink, every single dish, and I had to get up early to go to school the next day. So, you can only imagine how much fun that was. Uh, let's see what else. Um, there's a usual progression so far as you deal with narcissistic parents, subconsciously you're used to that, so you end up with narcissistic men or emotionally unavailable men, so I followed the pattern up until my age now, which is 21. Um, I finally realized what the hell I was doing wrong, and I don't do it anymore, to say the least, I don't do it anymore. Um, I won't tolerate me, I, you know, me having to make you pay attention to me and, um, you know, if I do bigger and better things, maybe you'll be impressed. I really don't care anymore. I guess that's one of the things about getting older. You just get to the point where you're like, Hey, screw you. This is me. Okay. Either take it or leave it. Um, 
not to be mean, but just keeping it real. And women seriously need to stop listening to magazines and the BS that they put in your head, which is the media period will put a ton of BS in your head. I wonder if I should, hold on a minute. I wonder if I should turn around some so that I can, y'all seen the lake already. So I think I'll just turn around, bear with me. Oh Lord, what am I doing? I'm gonna turn around a little bit and, and give you some better lighting. <laughs> there we go. Oh, that's better. Well, you got some scenery anyway. Now you get to park and lot. Sorry, that's the way life goes sometimes. Um, <laughs> so, uh, yeah, that's much better. Good God, that's better. Okay, all right. And it's a thousand degrees out here, so <laughs> it's just so much fun. Not really. Anyway. <sighs> So you progress into um, highly dysfunctional relationships where people are exactly like your parents. Verbally abusive, um, physically abusive, or emotionally neglectful. It's not something you choose on purpose, but nevertheless, it, it's a natural progression. Until you and I was going to get, I'll get back to the magazine thing in a second, or the media, um, until you, you realize that you're following a pattern and all the people that you ended up with were identical. And then you realize that, you know, if you see two people standing there and you're automatically attracted to one, go out with the other one because your type isn't working for you. It's not working. People are stuck on their type. Get out of that. I don't know what it would be that habit of leaning towards somebody who you think is your type like I said your type has not worked for you yet right and what you're naturally attracted to is not always a good thing so time to try something totally different I'm looking at a fish jump uh, so um, media ladies Y'all seriously need to, I probably, I know I've done it too. I'm not going to say probably, I've done it too. And it's stupid. Okay. It's totally stupid. Um, we follow the idi idiocy that magazines and the media tell you. If you're going on a date, don't wear this. Don't wear that. Guys don't like it. Don't wear this nail polish. Guys don't like it. Don't wear red lipstick, which I wouldn't recommend on the first date. Only because if you do go on a date or more dates, he probably don't want to wear you you know have bright lipstick on his mouth you know he just doesn't really he's not down for that <laughs> so maybe something a little more toned down just because of that reason but so and if you're full blast goth hopefully he's already seen pictures of that so he won't have an issue with that um, but you know don't do this don't do that dance like this talk like this hop like this hop on one leg and flap your arms like a chicken I mean come on Th no uh, uh we gotta stop following the BS the media tells us because the media is brainwashing us and they brainwash us all the time don't do this don't say that don't walk like that don't sit like this don't tilt your head when you talk don't do that don't laugh like that that's too loud and it's just over the top guys don't like it it's bad listen if he don't like there's a whole list of shit that he don't like it's time for you to cut him loose before you met him okay it's time for you to cut him loose before you met him don't let TV media magazines news articles uh, online articles don't let the media period tell you what you can and cannot do you've been shampooing your hair all wrong don't tell me how the hell I've been shampooing my hair damn it I know how to do it the right way I've talked to people that work in a salon I not only know how to wash my hair properly but I know how to condition it properly <gasps> and it's not because of what some stupid magazine told me I talked to professionals and asked them the proper way to do it so don't tell me Jack about what's wrong don't do that, that, that and women are so used to chasing after men I'm, I'm not gonna get on this roll right now but they're so used to chasing after men that they will follow every rule that they're told don't let the media control you we're not in a, a country where you can't listen to certain music and if you do you're gonna get flogged a hundred times yes I went there we are not in that type of situation you have to have your face covered we no, we have freedom okay depending on the country you live in you have freedom do not you can you could you know 
certain things you might try for fun. You know, if it says, well, these fragrances are sure to, you know, make a man want to get close to you. And I don't mean sex. I mean, you know, he wants to hug you or close you, you know, dance with you closely on the dance floor because he loves that smell. Then you could try it for fun. Um, you know, I wouldn't take it too seriously because then it starts bordering on control. And women are already programmed and I've done it too. And it's stupid, right? Wisdom with age. Hopefully wisdom comes with age. Uh, you know... They drop everything because a man's gonna wants to see them now. I got a girl. I got to get off the phone. He's coming here right now, but he didn't give you no notice. I know, but he fine, girl. He fine. I'll drop anything for him. Uh, uh. Put yourself on a throne. Men are trying real hard. Okay, I wasn't even gonna go there, but men are trying so hard to squash you like a bug. Put yourself on a throne, and I don't mean in a narcissistic way. I mean, put yourself on a throne. And if somebody doesn't meet your criteria, and it, a basic criteria, manners, respect, raised right, let's start with that for, you know, let's have those for starters. If he can't have bring any of that, and he's approaching with his you-know-what in his hand, which is what they do nowadays, see ya. Stop sleeping with these men. I wasn't even going to go there, but since I'm here, I might as well go. Um, stop sleeping with men the first day you meet them. I don't care what he done told you and how pretty you are and how beautiful you are and you are the sexiest person I ever laid eyes on. And like once some silly guy told me uh, a couple years ago, he said, you intrigue me. That probably equates to I've never slept with somebody brown and you look pretty good for my first conquest. That's what I translate that to be. I'm not going to be your conquest, okay, home slice? Anyway, move right along. Young guy, 20-something years old, hitting on me. So I'm like, well, I must have a little something-something for him to, for me to get his attention. <laughs> but, you know, you intrigue me? Come on. Come on! You got to come at somebody better than that. But anyway... I forgot my original topic. Okay, so you, you get... Sorry, I went off on a tangent. Actually, I'm not sorry. This is what needed to... Stop sleeping with men. This is what needed to be told. Stop sleeping with men the second you meet them. Stop it. Pick your self-esteem off the floor and stop this degrading behavior. You're abusing yourself. Men, a lot of guys don't have souls... And they're not deep like we are. So sex to them is an extracurricular activity. It's a sport you do when you have nothing else to do. Pick your self-esteem off the damn floor. Stop sleeping with these hoes. And if they... It's hot out here. Good God. If they can't approach with anything better than their member in their hand, hit the road, Jack. Go to the bar. Wait until somebody's drunk enough. She'll go home with you. But if you put yourself on a throne, and I don't mean in a narcissistic way, I mean in a way of, you have to meet my criteria, okay? Elevate your, your own status. Um, do not put up with what your father did to you, so now you're used to it, so it's okay if guys do it. It is not okay when guys do it. It needs to stop, and it needs to stop now. Pick your self-esteem off the floor, and keep your legs closed. There's a video on YouTube called... Um, there's a video on YouTube called Keep Your Legs Closed, and it's a brother. I don't remember his name. For those of you that are serious about a relationship and serious about getting married, watch that video. It's on YouTube. He's a brother. He's happily married. He tells women to keep your legs closed. Um, that's another thing that men use, narcissistic men, abusive men. That's what they use to get you for lack of a better explanation, stupid in the head. Because he knows that once he puts it in there, especially if he does a halfway decent job at it, and I mean halfway, uh, yeah, I went there. Your brain gets swirled, and you can't see the forest for the trees, and anything he does is okay with you. And it's almost like drugging somebody. And it is a very powerful hypnotic drug that makes a person act ridiculous and you put up with way more than you should. So I wasn't going to go there, but I guess it needed to be said. 
So, yeah, I, I was with the, my father, so-called father was a um, verbally and physically abusive drill sergeant. He equated being a father with smacking down rules 24-7 whenever he was around and he wasn't jumping up and down on somebody. He thought that cracking rules is equivalent to being a father. He doesn't know the first thing. He's a narcissist. He doesn't know the first thing about love, affection. I'm proud of you. Oh, you got you. You came stuck in place in the uh, in the um, spelling bee. You go, girl. You know, or you go, boy. Or you go to your kid's sports game. Imagine them doing that. They might do it because people pay attention to them. There's got to be something in it for them for them to support you in that way. They're not going to support you because you're my kid if they're a narc they're gonna do it because they get attention people say hi to them oh hey haven't seen you in a while whatever it makes them feel good it feeds their ego so they they don't know how to love that's just not something that they're good at they don't know what love is they love themselves well they don't really love themselves either they're shame based anyway I'm like all over the place but anyway so having jacked up parents leads you into jacked up relationships with with um, people and it's really crucial critical that a woman a young lady grows up with her father and him being a positive role model in her life there is so much power in that that is literally indescribable but yeah I, I um and one of the things that I'm going to try to be brave about and not get emotional because I've been through this with therapy and I was so humiliated to talk about it and I don't need to be humiliated I'm not the one who did it to myself the person who did it to me should be humiliated um, first of all the father quotation marks he used to like to make me undress to beat me um, and here I am a young lady developing my body's developing and he sees me with not that much clothes on and he's inflicting pain on me and he has a weakness for females anyway so it took me many 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 years to oh it gets better it took me many years to realize that that's like a form of um, masochistic sadist sadistic behavior um you're seeing somebody part almost nude and you're you're inflicting pain on them. That's that's has a sexual uh, element, S and M, sadism and masochism element to it. And I was in denial about that for the longest time. And when I finally brought it up to my um, one of my therapists, the emotion. You don't realize how deep down you could push something. Mm. Mm. We're successful and pushing it so deep it's almost to our ankles but that's how far we push it down it was the end of the session end of the therapy session I'm not gonna make this video too long but um and all of a sudden I felt this emotion come up from my like my ankles all the way up and I felt my face get hot like my face was probably red like a, a cooked lobster with the emotion and I told her, but the humiliation of expressing that to her was indescribable. And there's another one, another incident where, and I honestly can't remember if he did it more than once, but I remember one time in particular. He... I think he beat me and then I don't I wasn't a bad kid so there was absolutely no reason to do that to me constantly I wasn't a bad kid I'm not stupid you got two psychotic parents you're not gonna do anything bad unless you're just glutton for punishment which I wasn't a bad kid at all didn't drink didn't smoke didn't do any of that um, but I think he beat me and he put a roll of toilet paper in my mouth and he shoved it in my mouth and wrapped tape around it so it was attached to my mouth and I couldn't close my mouth because there's toilet paper on the roll and so when you can't close your mouth you're drooling and I'm drooling all over the, the um, crying my eyes out and drooling all over the toilet paper 
And when I told one of another therapist back in the day, I told her, and um, there used to be a time I couldn't say that without my voice choking up. I think I'm handling it like a champ right now. We do make progress. We do. Therapy works. Um, when I told her, I was so embarrassed, so humiliated. And I, I asked her, why am I embarrassed about that? I'm not the one that did it to myself. And she said, well, that was the whole goal. The whole goal is to make you feel embarrassed. It's like a blame shift or guilt shift. I should feel, you know, the, the person who's victimizing you, I should feel embarrassed by what I'm doing. I should be humiliated by my own behavior, but subconsciously, I'm going to make you feel humiliated even though I'm doing it to you. Let's shift that. No, let's shift it back where it belongs, asshole. Let's ship that, ship, you know, send that back to where it belongs. Please. Please. So anyway, um, if you have any questions about um, what it's like to have narcissistic parents, both of mine are narcissistic. Um, that's just the reality. That's just how I grew up. I didn't know they were narcs at the time because I was a kid and I had no idea what narcissism was. Oh, I know now. I am so well versed. Oh my. Anyway, um, I am going to try to remember to put my PayPal information. Oh no, is there something on my hand? Yes, get away. Get away. At the uh, I can't stand bugs. Anyway, I'm going to um, try to put my, uh, try to remember to put my PayPal information in my description of the video. If you want to um, send me a little donation um, to show me a little bit of love and kindness for the information that I give you guys, I would appreciate it. I would greatly appreciate that. Um, also, if there's something that you have questions about, let me know. And, um, you know, if you donate something to me, I will make you a priority. And if there's something that you are needing to talk about or you have questions about, um, you know, let me know. There may be a way to put uh, notes in the PayPal thing when you send money to someone. Um, I have not sent money to someone, so I'm not sure if there's notes in the thingy. Um, but anyway, I know a few, uh, people asked me for my PayPal information and they wanted to donate and I gave that, I, you know, gave them my link and I just want to thank you guys, um, for doing that. I appreciate every bit of it. I really do. I don't take anything for granted. I don't take anyone for granted. Life does not owe us anything. You know what I'm saying? Um, you guys are amazing. I love you. And if there's more information that I remember about, I mean, I summed it up in a nutshell, uh, the father in particular. It, it's crushing to a, a female's, um, a woman, a young lady's heart, soul, spirit, mind, emotions, her soul. It crushes, it crushes you when you don't have a decent father. And it can set the stage for some pretty horrific um, relationship patterns until you catch yourself with the pattern and hopefully you can put it into it. And, and just because you grew up with it, you can break that, um, that subconscious thought process where you're automatically attracted to people like that. But you just have to be aware of what you're doing in order to put a stop to it. You know what I'm saying? And the beatings were endless. Oh God, the beatings. Oh, oh my God. He loved beating me with that super wide, thick belt he had, leather belt, solid leather. There was no pleather to that belt, okay? None. Um, it, it's just a power thing. I, I am beating, you know, beating you, like I said, mentally, physically, emotionally, spiritually, and I'm smashing your your uh, self-esteem into the ground. Every, with every hit, I'm smashing you into the ground and smashing your self-esteem into the ground. Um, but I'm a stronger person as a result, so that which doesn't kill us makes us stronger right okay so 
uh, buenas noches or buenos tarde wherever you are in the world and dame besito I love you guys thank you for uh, subscribing if you're subscribed and if you're not subscribed you know what to do hit the subscribe button and the bell icon I love you guys if you have any questions let me know and for those of you who are interested in donating thank you in advance for your assistance I appreciate you thank you have a good evening good day good morning wherever you are have a good one bye bye